kicking things off with a story about Starbucks workers who aren't proud of how their executives treated pride. This is the in the mail, but it should be reported in the French press too. Do you get that? Because it's coffee. Oh, uh, no, I'm sure it was good, though. I'm not a coffee drinker, but... Make more than a French press. Uh, OK, I got it. More than 150 Starbucks stores with 3,500 workers to strike. And they're striking because they're not being allowed their pride decorations. It's the dumbest reason to strike of all time. <laughs> but, but, they're, but Starbucks are denying this and saying, of course, they are being allowed them, but apparently they say they're not. And it, it, it would be a smart move from Starbucks if it's the case, because we've seen the Bud Light target... Sorry, the yeah. Bud Light boycott, the Target boycott, both were incredibly effective. Yeah. And so now I imagine companies are getting a little bit worried. And of course, I should imagine lattes of a slightly different demographic <laughs> uh, than Bud Light. Yes, there is that. There is that. But, but it, of course, it started in Seattle. would be Seattle. It had to be Seattle or Portland, didn't it? And, yeah, I mean, it's just... Yeah, whatever. It's pretty silly, isn't it? I don't know. I think it's quite, a, it's quite an interesting story if it was indicative of companies realising the economic dangers of jumping all in on this stuff. Yeah. But as... Starbucks are saying, like, we, we don't have this policy. So it's a little bit strange. And also, what's ha it's more of a union issue. And it seems like the unions are trying to conflate this... Like, they're talking about workers' rights to put flags up. Like, it's, first of all, that's more work. Yeah. Surely, <laughs> that makes sense. Also, arguably, it's homophobic because... Gay people and LGBTQIA plus people drink coffee too, so yeah. they're closing themselves, they're restricting their product for it. Um, and, uh, it. And also they refer to themselves continuously as partners. These are the, the employees are like... Right. Other partners also say, and it's like, mate... Have the bosses said yeah, that they're partners? Yeah, <laughs> you ain't a partner. <laughs> <laughs> you can pretend whatever you want, but you ain't what's, a partner. What's also strange is that pride is so ubiquitous and so monolithic and you just can't question it that Starbucks have had to come out and say, no, we encourage our store leaders to celebrate with their communities, including for US Pride Month in June, you know what I mean? Like, you're not allowed to not celebrate pride. So the Starbucks have... They can't be seen to be not... If they celebrate it too much, they could get boycotted, but if they, but they, ha they can't be seen not to be celebrating. That's exactly it. So 150 stores of their 9,000 in America are, are close. So it's not like they're going to be losing a lot. But then their shares have dropped 2%, which right. is nothing compared to Bud, uh, Budweiser or yeah. whatever, where they, I think and they Target dropped 5% five, well. 5 and, and more. I think, ultimately, this is going to come down to economics, as everything yeah. ten, tends to do. And that's how the, the war, as such as it is, is going to be won, yeah. is whether they're going to go, are we going to lose more money like this? Or more money like this. Yeah, and but we've seen with Wix as well. I mean, yeah. sometimes the the elites that are, are sort of setting the, uh, the the guidelines for the for the stores, making the decisions, are completely out of touch with what their customer base actually want. I mean, there aren't that many plumbers who are desperate to see <laughs> gender ideology celebrated in the... Yeah. In the but as you know, they, they actively don't care about their customers and despise their customers because they get the funding from the ESG stuff, yeah. so they don't want customer money anymore. They just want this funding. I don't know where this magic money comes from, but it seems they want the ESG funding over the actual revenue. Yeah.